yeah welcome to part one of our video tutorial all right we are going to explain some basics of this software so i'm going to start from here now if you check this place open project that means maybe you have been working on particular project before and you want to import what you have done before you can click on this you can see all what i've done so if i click on any one it will import it into my project at my interface here all right the second one we have here create project we want to start afresh that's when you click on this the rest that will explain the rest on the go all right so let's start from the beginning here you click on project you can see enter name what's the name of the project you want to do you want to create let me call it part one you click on save now as you can see now this is a panel but if this place is inactive this place is inactive why because you have not created any scene before okay all right now that's where you click on this place you see create scene click on create scene this panel is too small for me to work on so you can click on hide now this place is big okay now we have all these buttons in this part one we are going to deal with add text button so in the part two and the rest part we deal with other buttons all right now what is the work of this add text let me click on it you can see it adds text to my panel so when you, you can enlarge it let me write welcome to part one as you can see this text let's see it in, in action you click on close canvas click on close canvas as you can see now this place that was inactive before is now active so this place click on either small medium or large if you click on large that is big medium small so you can use small because there's only one object we have here okay now let's check how this thing works when you click on scene preview let us see what we have done here let us preview it you click on this place you can see nothing happens why because you have not added any effect into it so you come to this play click on this play button add new effect so which type of effect do you want to add we have this we have the any you can see as many as possible we have it so you can click on sketch by hand you see how it's working so you click on scene preview to preview this particular scene but if you want to preview maybe you have created like 10 scenes and you want to preview all of them at the same time you click on preview so this preview will preview all the scenes you have created but if you want to um, preview only the present scene you can click on this place to preview it okay all right the work of this save is you know you have you have been working you can click on save yes or if you want to save it as another name you can click on this savers i believe you understand these four buttons now and this one okay the next thing we need to do now let me click on save again it's telling me that do i want to save it as zip if you like you can still save it as zip also but i like just click on yes all right now there is no music on this our the menu of this sketch you can see sketch by hand that's why the thing is using and you can see and okay now if you want to add voice you see play with voice over so you already clicked checked on this all right you come to audio click on audio if you want to use voice over you click on this one you can see so you can maybe you have done your voice over somewhere else you can import it or you record new one click on this place as you can see i can record now click here hello welcome to part one yes to stop now let's check what we have done click here hello welcome to part one click here hello welcome to part one can you hear now all right click so here okay. click here hello welcome to part one click here hello now click here to disable the voiceover now what if you want to use music so click on audio again on check here click on music now we have different musics here to use so if i click now i use but boy is not playing why because you need to check on play with music okay 
now let's check if we have your own music to import how you go about it click on audio click on browse so you can look for your own music to use let me use this okay so that's how you can change music let me use this this one again all right now what if you have many musics to import you click on import now the slide pack we are coming to that now when we are coming to that is not in part one here so under this music maybe you have music to import as you can see this is my music if i click on any one here then i click on start import so that means i import only one but if you want to import many you can zip them and upload the zip file after that you click on start import so it will bring all the video all all audios all musics inside that your zip file it will bring it into this place into this place and that's how i did on mine here this is the default one that came with it you know this so this one i added them myself all right now that you have known how to add effect you see there is only one effect i had if you want to add more effect click on add new effect let's add fade out by hand or fade out so that means after sketching that means after sketching it will fade out Let's check. it moves up sorry fly out it's fly out so that means it move, it move or fade out it is it. So that's fade out. All right. Now let's check. What if you want to change end? This end now. You can see the end here. Yeah, I want to change the end. So you come to this place. Click on the effect. This is the effect that brings. This is the effect that brings end. This music is disturbing me. You can click on this place to stop the music. All right. This end. I want to. This sketching of the thing. I want to change the end. So you come to click on the effect click on effect here set end now we have different pens available so you can use this you can use this let me let me use this you can see now the hand has changed so that's how to work with that all right now let me add more text add text So we add to make it big. Now I want to change the font of this. So you can see font family. Let me change to maybe this. Oh, it's too big. Let me let me use this. Now you want to change it to bold. This bold. You want to change it to italics. Everything is there. You can see how I change it. You want to change the color. Come let's see text color. Click here. Red okay all right click on close canvas small or medium to make it big now that means after this text you can see this text but let me check let me preview it first you can see that our red text is showing why because we have not added any effect to it so these are text how, how am i going to know that this is the text i click on the thing to do now is to click on text so that when you click on this page, it appears. When you click on this page, it appears. So let me click here. Let's add effects. Sketch by hand. But this sketch by hand is if you check here and this one, they are on the same lane. So that means they will happen at the same time. It's better you switch it. Just move it to this place. That means when this one plays to this place, this one will take it. So let's check. filling out and that one right now it's because we have two effects for this one let me remove one so let's play it there is no audio let me play it with audio what happened
happens it slows why because there is space here so let's let's move it together so that immediately this one finishes this one will take it play this one <laughs> Why is the hand so fast for this text? It's too fast. So to make it slow, you extend this. If you extend this place, that means it's very, very slow. Let's extend it to just more like this. So that means from this seconds to this second, that's why it works. Let's see, let's check. Now you can see that when I extended this thing to this place to this place, it was here before I extended it to this place so that it will be very slow. Okay. Let's watch. Let's watch here. You see that it's very slow. If you move it to this place, it will be very slow. You see. You can see very very slow here. So let's reduce it to this place. It's normal now. So that is how to work with text under this software. Alright, if you have your own fonts to import, you can click on this bit to import your text. And the same we have here. If you do want to have scene background, you want to add background to this, please you can add it here. Or do you have video to add? You can still add video also. Alright, now my audio is off now. So to go back to what you are doing, you click on open canvas. So click here. As you can see, this place is too small, you click on hide. Now it's big. So any you want to change the text, it's small, it's big, or you can reduce this text here. You see text size here. And the font we have so strong shadow and others we have them there. Okay. Now this move on top and others. This move on top scale full screen. We are dealing with them when we reach all these places. All right. Delete is to delete this thing and new thing to create new thing like this button works. So to create new scene, you click on this place. All right, click on close canvas. So you can see what we have done. This is just about part one. All right, what about all about this presentation stuff? This is how it works. Sometimes maybe you want to deliver a seminar and you want to make use of this software. So what you need to do, maybe let's assume this is your first scene. Then you come to this place. You come straight. Let's click on this one first. You can see 